is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah! Field, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Hey, Friday! Yes, it is, Fan phone fun Friday. Yes. Call us, 888-855-2297. Hang on, my head doesn't look big enough. There we go. Hey, <laughs> look at that. There he is. Tyrion. Got the hey. Hey, 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 hey. Man, wow. we don't know what's going on today. This is weird. Kurt's That's gone. Right. That's right. Jesse's a no-show. That's right. He I, just went dark. We don't know what's happening. This we gave guy, him some Starburst candy. We might have put him in the hospital with yeah. diabetes. <laughs> to, the, to my left, someone just showed, showed up today. Up, no. I I came to say today. Yeah, DeRoe back on the show today. Yeah. Give it up for DeRoe. Where's the fake applause? Hey. Hey. I'm hey. <laughs> wow. So you know what that means, Nate? That means we're winning this week because he only sh- – He's a front runner. Yeah, yeah. I, He's I, a bandwagoner. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, shows yeah. up, we go win. That's the only yeah. time he comes I, on the show. But I show up before we win, so you, <laughs> the bandwagon show up after you win. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I come bring the energy so we can win, just like we did last. Okay. Yeah. Not last week, but the week before last. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I brought that energy. Uh, I hear you know. Hey, wow. before we before we get to the calls and the callers and callers, by the way, you can ask DeRoe something today. Since that's we, right. Yes, feel free to ask a music question. Football questions, fan, whatever you want to ask today. Personal one questions. One guy can't call in. Who? That's Eric. Why? Because he was supposed to show up. Oh, he was yeah. He's show. he's getting suspended for one game. Eric from oh, North Carolina. Yeah, he oh, gets yeah? suspended yeah. for one game. Oh, okay. yeah. He's suspended, suspended for a show. <laughs> for what show? What <laughs> show? What <laughs> show? <laughs> All right. So, a couple of big things happened to you recently this week. Yeah, yeah. It was a big week for me. Death big time. week. Share it with us. Tell us a couple of couple so, of things I know about. So tell yeah. tell us. So so Monday. October 28th was my birthday. Hey, happy hey, birthday. Happy birthday, bro. And, and the day before Monday, the day before my birthday, I actually did my first Spartan race. You know, so, yeah, yeah. I, I was booked to do the Spartan race a month prior. And it's this, I mean, for anybody who don't know what the Spartan race is, it's like a, it's different sign. I did the four mile when it's called a sprint Spartan race, where it's four miles with uh, about 15 or 20 obstacles you got to do. So it's like you're running four miles while doing these obstacles. It's, I mean, honestly, I feel like a cowboy player right now, you know. Yeah. But, no, nah, it was good work, you know, and, and it was something that that was new. You know, I wanted to do something for my birthday that was going to challenge me to do something and go to another level. So, yeah, I did that. So Sunday. you finished? Yeah, I finished it. Yeah. Actually, actually, I beat a lot of people, man. Actually, I did, <laughs> I did better you didn't than come I, in last is what you're saying. No, nah, nah, I didn't come in last. I didn't come in last. <laughs> my goal was just to finish anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. But – but it prompted me. I think I'm gonna do the LA one. The LA one coming up in January. Now that I know what it is, so yeah. you know, I said I can even train better for it. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the one in LA. You cool. spend you spend some time in LA, don't you? Yeah, LA. That's like second home, man. Texas for you. That's my movement. I go back and forth from Texas to uh, a lot to LA in the Bay Area. Yeah. I do a lot of recording in LA. A lot of my events and a lot of my wow. people that's like producing my music, like making the beats and stuff. I got a lot of producers in LA. Mm-hmm. So I go out there, mm, probably like, I used to go two times out the month, mm-hmm. this, you know, before the summer. But to, uh, top of 2020, I'm going to spend like the first half of the year, you know, mostly in LA because I'm, I'm putting a, another project together that I can't talk about right now. All right, you, you go- putting it together, huh? Yeah, well, I already, got, I already told y'all about the other projects. Right. I was, that one pretty much done. We just mixing and mastering. Mm-hmm. But the new project, you know, a new situation came about within the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, now it's prompting a situation out in L.A. that I'll be able to talk about I, later. You cannot go spend the first half of the year in L.A. till after we win the Super Bowl because oh, we no, need com- you on the oh, show. No, I'm coming back. I'm okay. coming back right. for, the, for, for this in the in the games. I'm just talking about as All far right. as just where I'm going to be for the majority of the time. Okay. You know? But, yeah, now nah, I'm here. And when you drop the new project, the one that you're mixing and remastering, will you come on the show and give us an exclusive first? I look got you. Yeah, I come. Fans? I come premiere something before I put the album out. Okay, y'all heard you. it. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Now we're gonna hold I'm you gonna to that. that. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I might even do a performance. Because if I hear, hey, if Nate, I you gonna hear perform it, with me? You know what? <laughs> no, no, I can't. Let's I can't do that. Good. Let's do no, that. No, you don't want to be funny. No, funny. Have him on one day, 
and bring on Miss Patty the, the next day. Or have them on at the same time. Bro, that would be such a different have clash a, of music. A, acoustic, right, let's do it. acoustic version. <laughs> let's do it. Acoustic version of Ice Cream Paint Job. We should you know, do that it's anyway. It's actually a, a, a acoustic version that's out. Is it yeah, really? Yeah. Shout out. They're uh, called the Cataracts, man. Type in Ice Cream Paint Job, the Cataracts, or Ice Cream Paint Job, acoustic version, and somebody right, put one check, out. I'm going to check it that was out. A, it, it was actually pretty dope, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah wow. so. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. down with that. Right. Tell to come so on the That'll show. be so different, man. Oh, have him awesome. go and do his thing. Mom's come. They're coming in uh, Thanksgiving game. So maybe the day after Thanksgiving, you around? Yeah, I'm here. I'm, we'll I'm we'll give you a heads up. That oh, way she can. So awesome. That way you so can be prepared. So you're doing on the Friday, right? Yeah. On the show? Yeah. We yeah. Can, like, we we'll get that. you in, get her to bring the guitar. Hell yeah. Let's do it. We're going to have to eat leftovers, too. Let's, oh, I'll get make my... I'll make mom bring that banana pudding yeah, tell her bring. <laughs> pie that she makes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Kyle, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? We're good. We're good. See, we just we wanted to include you in the show. Well, I appreciate that. You're welcome. We're just Kyle, checking what up? on you. See how you're doing. Kyle, he's just messing with you. You know that, right? Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah, Is anybody calling? Uh... Yeah, there actually are a couple of people calling. In the on line. that 97 Let me number? go answer that, and I'll, I'll get back with you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Did you do any trick-or-treating last night? No, nah, I didn't, actually. I was, actually, I spent time in the studio last night. You know. Uh, Did you do any tricking last night? No, nah, I don't do no. I, <laughs> my, my tricking days ain't – actually, I ain't never had no tricking days. I leave it at the Shannon, man. <laughs> nah, but uh, – nah, you, la- you, you, you know what? You couldn't even look at Shannon when you, <laughs> you said that. That, that, was, not a, that was not an honest answer, was it? He's right in that phone. No, no, I didn't do any of that stuff. Nah, nah, I just I just made a couple of hit records last night. Okay, okay. Right. you did All do right. it a couple of hits, right? I understand. <laughs> 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 What's the next couple of weeks look like for you, man? So we got well, we, we, we second week in November. So November tenth, I got a big show in LA, a car show. It's in Santa Ana, actually, Santa Ana, California. That's the day we play the Vikings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm out there. I'm booked on. Uh, That's my birthday, by the way. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna book you for my birthday. Ah, uh, but you know, we can do it the day after. Okay. I'm flying right back on the 11th. Okay. Mm. Scorpio, you you the Scorpio brother. Yes, sir. That's what it is. That's right. Yeah. Hard headed as hell, loyal. Hey, so I think we the best sign. Yeah. Yeah. But I uh but no, you, I got man. I got the wow. car show. I got the car show, which is actually big. The biggest places where car shows are is in Texas and California. You know, they, yes, they like they are massive, the car scenes man. are are so big out there in out here. So it's right. a big thing out there. Like that's like one of the biggest type shows you can do in Cali as far as anything that's just not a auto, you know a concert. Yeah. So Did you say Santa Ana? Santa Ana. That's right outside of San Diego, right? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's where the horse I, track is. It'll be my first time there. So yeah, yeah I, I just, think it's right there by San Diego. Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I think it's in between LA and San Diego. Yeah. Because I I fly in LAX, so yeah. It, obviously, it's, it must be close on that side. But yeah, I think south. it's in between. I think yeah. so too. We go out there on the train whenever we we're in uh, training camp. Yeah, so that's the next show, and everything up until then is just me, you know, putting everything together. I'm getting ready for 2020 as a as an artist on the music side. Everything is for 2020, so I'm just putting my final touches in for the year. What about as a Cowboys fan? Do you think we'll be playing into 2020 playoffs? Do you think we got the team? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna Are they gonna put it together. We we definitely get into because the they playoffs. on the, they on, they're teetering on the line of making I mean, it or not making it. We got a tough schedule here. This our season started last week. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm-hmm. the, the week when we played Philly, our yeah. season started then because the next four or five games should be the toughest part. So, But the good thing is, like I said the last time, I think we're going to go into the playoffs way better because we're going to be short. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come through this thing, man. All we're right. going to balance out that that Jets loss with a, a Patriots win. That that Vikings game, that's going to be a big game, but I think we're going to pull that out too. All right. You know, so All I right. know we got like Chicago. We got, we, got, we got a schedule coming up. We do. It's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. All right, let's go to the phones. Kyle was nice enough to – let some folks in, as long as it's not Eric. You can let him on, but we're going to cut him yeah, off. Yeah, we're going to cut what him Eric off. There's no Eric. Yeah, no Eric. He's, he's the one that didn't show just, up. He no he, showed he up. Was yeah. to, he was going to have yeah. your seat for yeah. a day. He's, oh, been okay. a, he's been a lifelong lifelong Forever. of the show calling Forever. in. And every day that he calls in, we ask him what he has for lunch. Yeah. Because he's a fat kid like us. <laughs> and he calls in almost every time we take calls. And he yes. came in for a game, and yes. we were going to bring him on the show, and he didn't He didn't come because he he misscheduled his flight to where he didn't have enough time. No, to be honest oh, with he you, had another, he, he another did a Shannon and drunk all night. He had another state. <laughs> what state he in? North Carolina. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Eric right, in North Carolina. Give, so right, you got to give him a pass for that. Minute, I, I thought y'all was saying like he was out here like in Dallas or, or something. No, no, close. no. no. He, was, he flew in for a game. So, All right. Speaking of games in a city we're playing in, James, longtime caller in New York. Welcome to the show, man. How's it going? I'm good, man. I'm excited. Man. I'll be in the building on Monday. I'll tell you that. Hey, yeah. Holler at me. Let's get a picture. Yeah. Where are you going to be, though? Because I, I, you got you to gotta let me know. I'll be you know, uh, I'll be on the sideline, but if you get in the stadium pregame, I can probably come up in the stands and we can grab a picture and I can shake your hand and say, "Hey, hit me up on uh, Twitter or Instagram, Shannon yeah. underscore PG." I'll try and do Real that. Yeah. All right, sounds yeah, good. What's up, uh, Jesse? What's up, Glad you can make it. <laughs> yeah. All he came for was the money. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, James. Now I was gonna say. Um, you know, looking forward, you know, looking ahead to the schedule. I mean, the run starts started against uh, the Eagles last week with that win. You know, this is no uh, game to take lightly because I was at that check in when I walked out and I still can't understand how we lost that game. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys, I, I want to ask you guys this. Uh, do you think it's realistically that this team can go 12 and 4 with the schedule they got coming up, considering, all right, you should win this game this week? Vikings, tough game, but because of Kirk Cousins and we're at home, I think that's a winnable game. And then you got the Lions, you know, and then we know the schedule after that, you know, Patriots, Bears, everything. Because after watching the 49ers go 8 0, and you got the Packers and Saints ahead of you, we're looking like we're going to probably have to go on the road one of those games. But do you see any way that anybody slips up where possibly we can get snagged one of those two seeds? Because, you know, let's face it. I'd much rather go play out in the outdoors and go back in the Superdome or go to San Francisco. That's just my opinion. Because I think this team, is, I, I'm really worried that, that we missed our boat with that jet loss. So you're asking, is there any way they can go the rest of the season and only lose one more game? One more game. Mm, great question. Thanks for the call, James. I'm going to say, I'm going to go with no, but I'm going to say it right now. I think they go beat the Patriots in New England. I don't know why. I think they got a shot. And because of that, I'm going to say yeah to the 12 and 4. Oh, my goodness. You I, are I, such a homer. I predicted. I, you are I said. a homer. I said 12 and 4. That's my, that's my prediction. So you think the they, realistically they can go the rest of the season and just, lose one game? Just because of what you just said. Because I think they're going to beat the Patriots too. Mm -hmm. And, I mean. You're such a fan. Nah, who else, if we're going to beat the Patriots, <laughs> we, who else who going to beat us? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna, we, probably, we might lose one more game, but mm -hmm. I think we can go 12 and 4. Let me let me speak to the voice of reason on this show because I know Nate's got us winning out the rest of the season. <laughs> Jesse, realistically, can they go the rest of the season and only lose one more game? No, no, no. I'm, that's and here's you're, you're talking about. You look good today, by the way. Thank you, man. By the way, this. before you start, we have to call this out. I, I if I'd no if shirt, I'd man. known you were coming, coming before <laughs> midnight <laughs> last yeah, night, yeah, then well. we would have got you one. We'd have hooked you up. Uh, yeah. But we. This is a yes. very special day. This is a very special connection today. We, our good buddy Ian King up in yeah. uh, the Thanks, Cowboys Ian. Pro Shop, hooked us. He hooks us up every time they have a new shirt that he wants us to promote. And you can buy these limited edition. They Michael look like Irvin. football cards. Michael Irvin. Mm, maker. Which we have a special connection. Nate, you played with him for yes. years. Friend of yours. Jesse, you're he kind of here in the building because of Mike. You were on the show. Yeah. Reality TV stardom. Yeah. Because of Mike. Yeah. So this is really cool that. We all have the. We got to get a picture when the show's over so we can tweet yeah, this it out. Yeah, this is. This is. Yeah, there you go. Mike's our guy, man. Like, let me go that way. There you yeah, go. they need a hype guy. We need to yeah. replace him as the hype guy. Yeah. DallasCowboys.com. Go to the Pro Shop tab and you can own one of these bad boys, limited edition. So go get you one. Okay. Back. Back to realistic <laughs> cowboy record the rest of the way out. And, and the, the biggest. Reason why, and I'm not on the same boat as you. I don't think they're going to go up to New England. And I know beat I'm going to have so much fun with you that week. It's going to be so much fun. And I can't I'm, wait. I'm always the one that says, I, "This is how I gauge if someone is really serious. Mm -hmm. How much you willing to bet on? Not that much. Okay. Then I mean, you're not really serious. Five dollars, yeah. maybe. If you said seven fifty, seven dollars and fifty cents, I'll uh -huh. take you serious. I'll take that. I'll take that bet. I'll go seven forty nine. Ooh, yeah. I'm we'll close. talk about it. I really think they got a shot. Just because I think they always pull one out they're not supposed to. But here's my biggest concern. It's mm -hmm. that it's that November stretch. Mm -hmm. That that is a tough stretch, and you don't have multiple games at home. 
That's the biggest thing. All year long, they've had home away, home away, home away, and that's the rest of the way out. So you have that short stretch where you have three or four games in like 15, 16 days. And each one of those teams that they're playing, it's going to be a hard fort game. It's not, it's not, there's, no, there's no more gimmies on the schedule, right? There's, there's no more well, Washington at the end of the year. But for the most part, everything is going to be a hard, tough, fought game. And you consider injuries, you consider just the wear and tear on your body, end of the year, trying to fight back up that mountain again to get some leverage back in your season. You come to that stretch, and, and sometimes you start peeking for that little mini bye week that you got at the end of it all, and mm-hmm. it just gets really tough in that, in that situation. So to say, I'm not saying that they won't make the playoffs. I'm not saying that they won't win the division. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying to lose one game from here on out, I just think that this team – is not built that way. Yeah. And the schedule doesn't lend to it. Nate, any any foresight into that? No, I, I just, you know, I'm let you know, he divorced the reason. So let's go to my man here and let's see what he's you heard thinking. Us, you heard, you. I mean, like I say, I think we need the tough <laughs> schedule. We need the tough schedule, man. Buddy. No, I'm I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no, no. Wow. Really? How do you feel about Jamal Adams, Nate? I'm just kidding. Let's do no. not get back into that. Let's no. do not get back. No. Will this will this defense be able to will sustain this defense itself sustain itself? Sustain itself. You missed a hell of a week this week, by the way. If you didn't no. listen to the show two days ago, Nate was sniffing glue or something because he was out of this world. He was he was on he was on another level. And then yesterday, he brought that over to the show and would not let the Jamal Adams thing go because Jesse Jesse doesn't think Jamal Adams is elite. And Nate does. Yeah. And and we talked about that for at least three days. So I was trying to kind of bring so, that back up, but I really don't want to. No, <laughs> we have callers, and I want to, you know, the last guy that called in was, was who? James. James, James from New, New York. York. Mm-hmm. Thank you for having belief in the Dallas Cowboys, mm-hmm. James, because only me, DeRoe, and you have that belief oh sitting here. Oh, my goodness. You boy. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to start calling you Waffle House. The, the way you waffle back and forth between this day, I'm going to start calling you House. I'm going to start calling you House. House. House Newton. And House people say, why Newton. you call him House Newton? Because that man be you got waffling. Red <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the phones. We have another Nate from okay. Orville, Washington. Nate, okay. welcome to the show. Thanks. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yes, How sir. You? How are you doing? Good, good. Hey, I got to say, is there any way you can reschedule your show for earlier in the morning so I can call in more often? <laughs> this is the only day I get to ever call in, and I never get through. You know, if 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 we didn't have a conflict with the boss, Derek Eagleton, we would kick their show off the air and take their spot. But unfortunately, he, he pays all of us, so yeah. we kind of need to just keep our spot. But thank you for that. Yeah, no problem. Hey, man, I, I watch you guys every day, whether it's live or recorded. And uh, now that you got Duro there, I got to say something to Duro. Can Do I tell it. a quick What's story? That? Hell yeah, let's go. Okay, so I'm a I'm a DJ, KJ, mixer, MC, all that stuff. I've been doing that for about 15 years, all over the place. And when Ice Cream Paint Shop first came out, I was on top of it, and I had that playing in every club I DJed in five nights a week for months mm-hmm. before anybody else even recognized the song. And then all of a sudden, I got people coming up to me, girls and droves. They say, hey, have you heard that new Duro song? We got to hear that. And da, 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 da. I'm like, I've been playing this for months. Where have you been? Yeah, <laughs> Duro's awesome. my man. Duro's my man. He's been my man since the beginning. I very much appreciate the fact that you are a hardcore Cowboys fan. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate your support. Like, I came up with the DJs. Like, when I first started doing music and came in the game, they used to call me, like, the DJ baby because I used to, like, support the DJ. So I... I really appreciate that, and it's crazy that you say that because Ice Cream Paint Job did have a lot of different levels of success because being a new artist, it was like it blowing up here and blowing up in Cali. That was kind of like one phase of it. Then it like it got big on some mixtapes. Then it got big on, at that time, it was MySpace, which the Internet, then it just kept on getting bigger and bigger. So when you say that, I understand. Like it was a certain level of success to it, and then it just blew up. So if you was already supporting it early, I definitely appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. Really, I enjoyed it. It, it, it does. It's got such energy to it that the crowd just loves it. it Whether they know bigger, what it is man. or not, that it, was the funny part. <laughs> it, it's crazy because it's like it, we were just 
talking about this like a few days ago, just how it keep getting bigger. Like every every other week I wake I wake up is something is going somewhere, it's going viral. Like some kind of way it's on another platform. You know, they playing it out around the country, they playing it like on a game, they playing it in sports. They playing it at out of club, so it's just a song. Yeah, yeah it's just a song. Residual, you know, residual. Ka-ching, when ka-ching. I first made it, I never thought that it would. You know, I mean, I'm not gonna say that I didn't make it to be, you know, a dope record and a classic. But you never know these things sometimes. Yeah. And to see what it's doing right now, and I made this ten years ago. You know, it, it, that's that's the best part of this music. You know, because it can last forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, wow. not, not to delay your call anymore, Nate, but I saw your tweet earlier this week where John Witherspoon passed oh, away, yeah. and he actually tweeted a couple few years ago yeah. that that was his favorite song, and you you brought that back. That yeah, was kind of exactly. cool. That's that's a perfect yeah. example of what I'm saying. Like, man, uh, R.I.P. John Witherspoon, which is man one of one of my favorite, honestly, comedians and actors, like just in the in general, mm-hmm. and, and maybe like three or four years. I can't remember. I think it was like three or four years ago he had tweeted. And said that literally, "Ice Cream Paint Job" was his favorite hip hop song ever. You know, he tweeted it, mm. and like when he tweeted it, then like it made my day because, for one, I never had met him. For mm-hmm. two, you know, I, I was already following his career, and for three, that's a big statement from anybody. You know, mm-hmm. like even even a person that's not a celebrity, like for that, for something to be their favorite song of all time, yeah. that's a big thing. Yeah, and he put that out publicly. You know, so I thought that was pretty dope. So. You know when he when he passed it, it had reminded good me dope. and I reposted. Yeah. Good dope, really. Good yeah, dope. yeah. Good dope. Yeah, good dope. Good. Not yeah. bad dope. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, Nate. What's your? Uh, you got a football question or? I do, all I right. do. So I called in a year ago, mm-hmm. and my the reason I called in was because of Anthony Brown, and saying that this guy needs to be relegated to just a reserve role, and we need to see Jordan Lewis more. Fast forward to now, now. <laughs> Jordan Lewis needs to be on the field more, and Anthony Brown needs to be relegated to fourth or fifth corner as an emergency situation. I really don't understand what the coaches see in that kid to keep him as our starting nickel corner. It's just like Orlando Scandrick several years ago. He was getting burnt and fried regularly on a consistent (laughs) basis, and they kept him in there as that nickel corner and wound up signing him to an extension. Like, what in the hell? So (laughs) explain to me the Anthony Brown situation and why they have so much faith in this guy to keep him above a playmaker like Jordan Lewis. Thanks for the call, Nate. Thanks for listening. What do you guys think? Why isn't Jordan getting more players? Let's let the voice of reason. Oh, Thomas. here we go. That's the theme of the show today. Uh, no. There we go. We got ho- we got we got Homer to the left, and we got the voice of reason to my right, and we got the Waffle Man the in the wa- middle. We got the house in the middle. The house he, in the middle. He went, from, wow. he went from the kitchen to the house. To the house. Oh, man. I'm just I'm trying to be a part of the show. <laughs> this is what you really think. No, that, that's that's the that that might be the biggest mystery of this Cowboy season. Mm-hmm. Honestly, when we go back and when we go back at the end of the year, whether it's we, we're ending this thing in Miami or you're ending it in Mexico, mm-hmm. right. we're gonna look back and we're gonna say, why why didn't they have Jordan because Lewis out there? Not only is does he look good when he's there, he's around the ball. He's he's what we keep talking about on the show. Somebody that is around the ball that gets the ball out that intercepts it. That's around that's a magnet. Some magnet to the football. Yeah, like wh- I don't understand why. Okay, you don't want to start him, but why isn't he playing more? Like these see are what those, you got. These are those things when you go back and you go, you know, the coaches have their reasons. There, there is a reason, right? And, and we may never know what that reason is on I, the field, off the field. There whatever is it a is, right? reason that Chris Richard and Rod Marinelli have, and they've talked it out. They've written it down on paper. They've mm-hmm. discussed it. Because I, I find it very hard to believe because I don't think that we're as smart as Rod Marinelli and Chris Richard at what they do mm-hmm. at their respective positions, right? I, I never even played defense. You never even played defense at this level. You guys never even coached defense at this level. So I'm, I'm saying that the, I'm going to say that Chris Richard and Rod Marinelli are smarter than all of us collectively right. at calling defenses and at evaluating defensive talent. Yeah. So – there's no way that, that question hasn't right. crossed their mind. But the eye test to fans and us is like, why? Mm, and right? that's the mystery we may never know. Yeah. All right, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, let's take some more calls. 888-855-2297. We'll be right back on Hanging with the Boys. Your new apartment's big. Such a great deal. Uh, it's okay. Just okay? What's not too... Right above the subway! 
Well, I bet you don't even notice it after the... That's my neighbor, Angus. A deal that's just okay is not okay. Get a great deal with America's Best Network. Come into an AT&T store and learn how to buy one smartphone and get a second one on us. Based on GWS1 score September 2018. Now's a good time to tell you that SeatGeek is the new source of tickets for all your football needs this season. SeatGeek makes managing tickets easy, whether it's buying or transferring to a friend. They even tell you the best deals for every game based on their deal score technology, which rates every seat on historical data, price, and location. Download the SeatGeek app on your phone and take $20 off your first purchase using code DALLAS at checkout. SeatGeek, life's an event. We have the tickets. Work the Cowboys way and channel the winning business tradition of the Dallas Cowboys and the Jones family at Formation. This dynamic workspace provides an elevated work experience on the STARS aspirational campus with exclusive membership options available to meet varying needs. Choose from open workspaces, dedicated desks, and private offices to leverage our home field advantage for your individual business success. Limited memberships are available now, so apply today at formationatthestar.com. Back to Hanging with the Boys. We are back. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. It's 1 p.m. on uh, Monday, Thursday. Yeah, Monday through Thursday and then 1230 on Fridays. So I'm going to just read. We got a great I, story. We have a great <laughs> story, so do not tune out. <laughs> Pick your plays, not your wedgies. Tommy John is the most comfortable underwear on the planet and comes back by... Well, I just... You know what? Go buy you some Tommy John. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This story is a lot you more got fun. got a flap than on it, too. Yeah. Got the pouch. Yeah. So we were talking in the break. We were worried about Jesse because Jesse is always punctual unless he right. gets caught in traffic or something. And Jesse, by the way... Drives about what forty five minutes to get here every day. Yep, forty forty five minutes 40. with no traffic. If there's yeah, traffic, no traffic, it could be bad. Right. I love you guys. So he comes up here all the way up here from south of Dallas, and then goes all the way back to his real job. Yeah. So one, thank you for doing that every day. That's two hours out of your day plus the show. Yeah, this, this, to come do this. Just to make sure the check clears. But he's always here, and when he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> that ten dollar check every day. Just make sure it clears. I need that. <laughs> when he's not here, he makes sure he texts somebody. He's like, "Hey, I'm running late," or "Hey, traffic," or "Hey, I'm I got a meeting I got to go to." So he didn't show up today, and I was actually kind of worried about him, but I didn't want to text him and make a big deal out of it. So no, y'all just started the show. It's all good. We started the show. <laughs> we we you know the show must go on. And so where were you, Jesse? Okay. So, <laughs> so you know, normally I get here. And I make good time. And you got to get here early rushing. enough to clean the mic off. To and, clean the, and right, you guys watch me. I come in, I clean the mic <laughs> off, I wipe my area down, wipe my headphones down. I'm, I'm 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 diligent in my routine every single day. And I get here, and I'm upstairs in the parking lot, and I'm just sitting in the car. You're here early, actually. I'm here early. Yeah. I'm actually sitting in the car. In the parking lot. And I'm yeah. just like, you know, the radio's on. I'm just kind of, you know, thoughts going through my mind. I'm just sitting in there relaxing like, okay, I don't have to rush. I'm here. Take a deep breath. Just chill. And I, I'm literally here in enough time. And so just so happened, I just said, let's see what's on Twitter. Because you're addicted to Twitter. Because I am addicted to Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I go and like, I click on the app. And I'm looking. And hanging with the boys is up and running. And I'm looking like, oh, it's shows from yesterday. They're playing. And I look at Shannon and I can see his shirt. And, I, and I'm, I have the same shirt on we're supposed right. to wear on Friday. And I go, oh, shh. It's 1230 today. So I was sitting in the parking lot here on time. So, you know, all right, Derek, don't Antoine Woods me. So, Please, I can't afford that. Nah, uh, uh, should I'm we find him? Is. Should we find him? No, no, sir. Please. No, sir, because. Send him home. Because. Send me home. <laughs> because. He already got See, I walked this, the door. This is what I understand, though. But this is what I understand. But, but he's the voice of reason. Hey, you know what? You know what that means now. Every Friday morning, y'all are gonna get a text. <laughs> Not me. I don't need it. You can text me. I'm a, I'm a voice of reason. Twelve thirty today, yes. Jesse. Jesse. I'm the voice today. of reason. Not the, the voice, voice of time. Of <laughs> I'm not the voice of time. So let me. Wow. Ask, you were talking about. You were talking about like get getting your mind right coming into yes. the show and everything. As a performer, if you've been doing this long enough, do you have to? Do you have to pump yourself up to go perform, or is it just as easy as, all right, it's time to go and you get up there, or do you have to get your mind in the right state? or How is that? For me, it always been, like, on spot. Like, I never 
I, I guess because the way I had to come in the, my, in the game as a career, it was always – I had to kind of like always make my way. So, so spontaneous, you just be somewhere. Everything was always spontaneous. The opportunity so, arises. Exactly. So, like, <laughs> I mean, to this day, like yeah. something can happen right now uh-huh. to where I could get booked for something tonight and I'll be ready for it, you yeah. know. So, nah, I never – it, it just comes – the music, and I've been performing a lot of stuff – and I and I create music so much that it's just natural, you know. But I, I think it just come from having to do stuff so much spontaneously. Yeah. That it, you know I'm you used to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It. How, as players, did y'all have to? How is game day? Because some games I go into, I don't play. I've never played on a big stage. But there's certain energy in different games that you you get nervous and you start bouncing and you start okay, I'm nervous about this game. As you do it so much and it's so repetitive. Does it ever? Is your routine the same? Did you ever have to hype yourself up? What was your mental state going into like a game day? It was it was different. It's different almost every game. It's, mm-hmm. it's depending on who you playing for mm-hmm. me, who I'm playing, who I'm getting ready for. It, it was some games where, where you're playing yeah, the stadium. Yeah. So, so you know some games, man. You I had to get right. I mean, mm-hmm. I wasn't trying to hear nobody, see nobody. You know, my parents would come. They would pick those games to come in town, and I would tell my wife, you know, they they would come, babe, I'm going to be in this room, but you just tell them whatever you got to tell them because I do not want to talk at this time. Was that like before yeah, the game, before game, the game day? Yeah, like that night before. Or that, oh, even the night when before. I, when I come home, mm-hmm. you know, had a short break before yeah. the game. Mm-hmm. You call out like, babe, I'm coming in the back way. I, I don't feel like talking. I don't, I don't want to hear it. The baby's been not making because <laughs> – when I was getting ready to play Jerome Brown, I needed attention. <laughs> I needed to be right, you know right. what I'm saying? But I, if we was getting ready to play the Cardinals, I'd be like, hey, I'll be out front. Hey, we're going to crush these dudes. Don't even worry yeah. But that was just me, you yeah. know what I'm saying? That was just me. Uh, some players are way, you know, they just maybe way different. He probably had a calm I didn't have. Yeah. You know? What, what I, was your, your – For me, I, I, I couldn't play hype. Like, mm-hmm. if I got all – like that rah-rah, I, I, I'm out of control. Yeah. Like, I couldn't play at that – at that level. So I always try to keep myself uh, – we all have routines. Like, yeah. if any player doesn't have a routine, he's a liar. Mm-hmm. Every yeah. player has a routine. Because that, that makes things normal. That, that makes things normal. normal. Right, right. right. Yeah. So you're going into this abnormal situation, so I have to find some sort of normalcy in it. Um, like, even down to the music that I listen to, I've, I always listen – Same playlist? Michael Jackson. Mm. Some people listen to gospel. Some people listen to rock. Some people listen to rap. I just couldn't – I couldn't be on 100. Because mm-hmm. me on 100 – my brain is not functioning right, and I'm, I I gotta be right mentally, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm like, I need something that's going. And I always I always look at Michael Jackson as the greatest performer of all time, mm-hmm. and I'm like, I want to perform like that. I, I want someone that whether it's their first time, second time, or last time ever seeing me perform, whatever my job is, I want them to leave with the with the feeling of if you YouTube like Michael Jackson would perform at these like overseas and people would be falling out at these concerts, like yeah. passing out mm-hmm. and they would have to pass them over the top. I'm like, I want people to do that for me. Wow. And so that's that what my mindset was. But yeah, I, I, I was always trying to stay the calmest as I possibly could because that's the way I played. I, I don't, I don't play well on a hundred. Yeah. If I'm all, like, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, I can't do, I can't do the Des Bryant. Right. Ah, that's not me. <laughs> The Sean Lee and yeah, the no, Jalen no. in the huddle I, no, that's pregame not what, questions, for, questions for y'all. Like, did y'all ever have to like get ready like mentally for? Uh, I mean, obviously y'all hit rivals and rival teams, but like certain players that y'all just knew that when y'all, you know, if you got, if you feel to come up and play a certain team with a certain player, like this, prior to that week, did y'all prepare for that? Like mentally, <laughs> when it comes to just certain players, not just the team, <laughs> just like certain players. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm like Jesse. But the high, now I can I can get up for a guy, but I had to be just at level. Like Jerome, I'm telling you, Jerome Brown, I had to just stay level. Uh, I could never get any NFC East team. I had I truly the 49ers. Anybody because we used to dominate for the NFC used to dominate back then. Green, mm-hmm. so I had to stay on that certain level like Jess. I had to stay there, so that's why I had. But my focus would be depending on who I'm playing, the player. Yeah. Whether I'm whether I'm talking at all, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, I, I'm not talking. Jerome Brown, I do not, <laughs> I do not want to hear what you got to say. You know, if it ain't about the game plan and me trying to beat this guy, I'll slow it because I wasn't gonna beat Jerome Brown. All I could ever do was slow him down. 
Yeah. I, you weren't going to beat him. Were there any other guys? Jerome, you, you talked Reggie about him White. a lot. Reggie was like that? I mean, because uh, when they put me at tackle, that was the year I ain't never paid no overweight money. I stayed <laughs> on weight all year long. <laughs> them dudes at the, at the right, I was playing right tackle. Shh, bruh. Now, it, but if I lost my mind, like get 100, like he's saying, yeah, brother, it was ugly. It was ugly for the opposing team. I was going to jump offside about eight times. <laughs> I was, gonna, But the guy in front of me, he was going to get beat down because yeah, yeah. I couldn't control it. Was he going to catch a couple it. of no. elbows in the ribs oh, oh, maybe? Man, break it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, we get, we get penalties for that now. If you yeah. headbutt a guy on purpose and they see that on film, they'll send you a – that what you did is illegal after Nate. the game. Yeah, yeah FedEx really? in your locker. See, for me, again, offensively, I was a jag, right? Just another guy. Mm-hmm. Um, to the point where we were playing. I like that jag. That's what I am on the show. Just, just another guy. Jag. Yeah. Um, you know, I remember when we were playing Washington and D'Angelo Hall is the, is the cornerback, and I line up outside. You know, I'm two yards outside the numbers, <laughs> and he like walks up on me. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a jag, <laughs> and he walks up on me, and I guess he kind of like it recalibrated his mind, looked at me, and said, "Number 16." He wasn't on the game plan. And he looks around, he backs up, and he goes, "It's a, this is what he screams out to the defense. He screams this out. It's a run. They ain't throwing it for his ass. This is what he says to me. No, they did, man. Nate, if I'm lying, I'm flying. He goes, it's a run. They ain't throwing it to his ass. That's what he said. Now, granted, it wasn't a run. They actually threw it to me. It was a third down. They actually threw it to me. And I got a first down. You caught it? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I did. But, like, for me, like, special teams are my thing. So, guys yeah. like Kasim Osgood, Reggie Bush, Deshaun Jackson, Devin Hester. Mm. There were guys like that. Wes Welker. There were guys like that that we had to play. Or when you went up against, uh, like, a, a, a Jets um, defensive uh, – um, sorry, special teams coordinator. He was notorious – for setting up different type of blocks and different type of schemes. So it was stuff like that that I had to get my mind right because I didn't get 70 snaps. Right, right. Yeah. I got one. <clears throat> right. Right? So how many punts will we get? How many punt returns will we get? How many kickoffs will we get? So eight, ten in a game? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I couldn't afford to be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, don't, I don't get a – if I if I let a punt go for a touchdown, I don't get that back. Yeah, it's not yeah. like I'm coming out again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't I don't get those things back. So I had to be ultra focused. And then when you're the personal protector, you have to. You're literally the quarterback of the punt team. Yes, I'm getting guys. Calling like, it I'm calling it. Yeah. You know. And then I was the guy on kickoff. Like Jess, listen, you you're gonna set the set the edge for us so that you know Devin Hester doesn't take one back to the house. Yeah. And so I took that very personal, and I had to make sure that I was very very you know, on top of my game in those moments. I was ready to play offense, but that was few and far between. Special teams, what I was doing every single time I was going out there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take another break. And when we come back, more phone calls. <laughs> yeah, I swear he said that too. For the voice of reason to a jazz. <laughs> Oh, hang on with the boys. For your next AT&T Stadium barbecue, gear up with OtterBox, the official outfitter of tailgating. It starts with the Venture Cooler. Built tough in America, Venture keeps ice for days and days. Or stay light on your feet with Trooper Soft Coolers, perfect for packing in your signature side dishes. Tailgating wouldn't be complete without a beverage, so pour one into the OtterBox Elevation Tumbler. It keeps your drinks frosty and toasty. Discover more about OtterBox line of tailgating essentials at otterbox.com. Now's a good time to tell you that SeatGeek is the new source of tickets for all your football needs this season. SeatGeek makes managing tickets easy, whether it's buying or transferring to a friend. They even tell you the best deals for every game based on their deal score technology, which rates every seat on historical data, price, and location. Download the SeatGeek app on your phone and take $20 off your first purchase using code DALLAS at checkout. SeatGeek, life's an event. We have the tickets. Want to use what the pros use? How about the official men's skincare brand of the Dallas Cowboys? Jack Black. Right now you can get the Jack Black Starter, a curated collection of Cowboys locker room favorites for just 10 bucks with free shipping. The starter includes four Jack Black skincare favorites plus a full-sized intense therapy lip balm. Go to getjackblack.com slash cowboys and use the code word TEAMJB. That's getjackblack.com slash cowboys. The Jack Black Starter, 10 bucks. Free shipping. The excitement of Dallas Cowboys football is back at AT AT&T Stadium. The place is going crazy in Arlington, Texas. Don't miss your chance to see the Cowboys live when they host their NFC East Riders, the Eagles, Giants, and Redskins, plus the Green Bay Packers and more. Elliott works his way through and walks 
the dog. Single game tickets are on sale now. Get them before they're gone. First and goal, quarterback sneak. Prescott pushes up the middle. Touchdown. Visit DallasCowboys.com to get your tickets today. Back to hanging with the boys. We back. Final segment of the show, which means Mama Gross is on deck. And I'm going to read you this live read if I can get the paper right. Let's see. What do we want to talk about? Hey, you know what? Come watch the Vikings game November 10th on my birthday. Get your tickets at DallasCowboys.com. And then also, it's going to be such a fun week. Darrell, are you going to come back the week we play the Patriots just so we can? You know Jesse played for the Patriots. And he's I'm in love with Tom Brady and Bill Belichick. I'm definitely coming in that week. He has a man crush. <laughs> That's the big So we're, let's, let's dedicate that Friday to trash talk with Jesse and Darrell. Can Bet we that. do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. All right, we'll do that. Anyway. <laughs> I'll take your seven dollars and fifty cent bet. I'll take your okay. seven dollars and fifty cent bet. Let's make a. We're I'll make, I'll make that. a wager to, that week. Yeah, we'll we'll do double. something. No, no cash. Right, be some big money that week. No, no cash. Uh, but no we'll, cash. we'll, we'll yeah. figure okay. something out. It's like, all jelly beans, right? Like jelly beans. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm sorry. We lunch. Stop. Or this something. is not a show that promotes gambling. Correct. Yeah, not a show that promotes right. gambling at all. This is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. But when we get off there, <laughs> <laughs> come out that week, November the 24th, there's going to be a party on the plaza uh, presented by AT&T to watch the Patriots game. That actually will be a lot of fun if you can't make it to the game up in Foxborough. Mission's free and so is parking. Bring your pets. Don't tell anybody I said that because I'm not supposed to promote that. But bring it and let's, let's make it a pet party. I'm going to get in bad trouble if anybody upstairs listens to this show. Make sure your dog don't before it. I mean, use the restroom before it comes. Bring baggies. Yeah. Bring baggies. All right, one you, more. When you send a text out, don't put us in it. We yeah. didn't say that. Send the one text to him. We did not say to bring your pets. He, he, does, he doesn't care. It's the marketing folks upstairs. Oh. Yeah, they, they don't, don't. It's all trickle down. I don't think they're they, gonna reach out to him. You got to reach out to you. They don't. Nobody listens to this show that works here. No one cares about us. Yeah, you say that now. Let mm-hmm. us say something. I don't let know, us, man. Let, let us say something wrong. wrong. <laughs> let us say know, something man. wrong. Those emails will be texting. The way we gain it on the rest of these podcasts. Hey. I don't know. Eager to hey. make move us around, dog. Go. I gotta get these giveaways together. Come on. I gotta make that happen before we get to uh, Michael. In, from D-Land, Florida, he's on the phone. These signs, these shirts signed. Ooh, and give them away. Ooh. And give them away after yeah. the show. That'd be yeah, cool. That'd be sweet. That'd be really cool. Ooh. We could probably do that because most of the guys we wear on these coming through the building at some yeah. point. Yeah. I'm gonna get yeah. with Ian. On I, that. I need really my cool. shirt, man. I'm on <laughs> XL. I'm the only one that ain't got one. XL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, XL. Right. I need my shirt. Oh, hey, got Jesse That's Jr. A fly shirt too. Got Jesse yeah. Jr. over here getting the, with his hand out. Give me, hey, where my where's my wing stop? Where's my free shirt? Yeah, yeah. When he got he got big metal on. He got big metal. I need one of them cowboy shirts. How do you, you think he's able to afford all that? He's frugal. Listen, <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how the rich stay rich. Yeah, Listen, man. You, right. walk, you walk down to that locker room if you want to. All them cats with them big money contracts, oh, they bro. ain't paying for nothing. They, oh, they you know, hitting you over the head hard. So, they ain't paying for jack. Yeah, all nah, the clothes, the shoes, funny the story, sneakers. The cars. So, so, we, so Brett, Brett Jeffries up in sponsorship. Was getting some candy. They had, they brought, it was a really cool deal. They brought out military families that are uh, out of Fort Hood that either the mom or the dad are deployed right now. So they're at home, single parent right now. Thanks to our troops. Yeah, thanks to the troops. Um, they brought them in and let the kids trick or treat around the star. So they set up little stations throughout uh, the building. Yes. So he ordered 72, bo- 72 <laughs> bags of candy for this event. They sent 72 boxes of candy. 3,500 pounds of candy on pallets. We talked about this so on the show. Ton and a half. Like ton, ton and a half. half. That's like a car. Oh, right? That's what you was laying on. The candy yeah, you yes, on. Yeah, So if you go look at like yeah. our Instagram, our Twitter, everything, we did a little video with the players. So that's another story. The candy disappeared. We, we finally <laughs> tracked it down. We got enough to do this thing with the players. So we took it in the locker room, and those guys came in. First thing that they griped about was – that weigh-ins were today. So they were all like, oh, of course, this is a trap. Y'all are trapping us. Like the nutritionist is doing this to test us. None of them even thought about taking the candy home to the kids and handing it out for Halloween or giving it to their kids. They were all like, they were eating it, (laughs) pulling up bags, like scooping it. I mean – it's free. It's me. Here, yeah. give it. Give me this. You know give why? me this. Give me okay. those meetings get real long, <laughs> and you and, need and something. You start. You start nodding off a we little bit. We already got a few players <laughs> yeah, you start showing nodding up late. off a little bit. You need something. To, you need just something to snack on and get that sugar rush Y'all in. Eat candy before the games or on the sideline. None of that. 
Nah. Again, you go back to, is that part of my routine? Oh, okay. Because anything that takes you off of your routine, yeah, like yeah. you eat the same thing at breakfast, you have the same, you know, pre-game drink, you know, whatever that mixture is. Yeah, yeah. Anything that takes you off that 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 pre that game schedule, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't do it. Don't now do after it. the game, that's something different. But Whatever. before the game is like, if I eat three Twix, that, that make my stomach hurt. Mm-hmm. I gotta go to the bathroom. If I eat, so you just you yeah. just stay away from it. Get you some lemonades after the game. A couple of lemonades. <laughs> <laughs> now if you're a jag like me, you find the, the sunflower seeds and the Twizzlers. In the in the in the in the box over there with the training stuff at you eat those. Those are on the sideline. On the yeah, sideline. Twizzlers, yeah. Yeah. sunflower seeds. Yeah. Are always yeah. There. Yeah. yeah. Before we get to uh, Michael, hang in there, Michael. We'll be mom? right to you. And my mom. We'll get to it quick. We were talking about Michael Jackson earlier. We might have talked about this on an earlier show. Who were your musical influences? Man, they go deep. Uh, so for hip hop, I mean, I think we all are Michael Jackson fan. You know, right. for for hip hop, I think uh, that influenced me the most. Starting off, it was Bone Thugs, Bone Thugs mm-hmm. and Harmony. Harmony, boy, yeah, that because was that smell. What you he gonna loved that. do? Yeah, because I used to just as a kid, I they copied with their melodies. They was rapping and had the melodies, you mm-hmm. know, and they had the fast flow and flow. And I used to like that when I was little. Then that that went from that. Them and Tupac was my first influences of hip hop, but then what? That's not what influenced me to actually rap. What actually influenced me to rap was the Texas music scene that took off when I was young, like Bun B and all yeah, those guys. The, the UGK, the the Swish House movement. You talking mm-hmm. about the Slump Thugs and Power Wilds, and then that when that hit, when mm-hmm. that whole Texas thing happened, that's when I was motivated because wow. I, I used to write music, right. but I never I never like. So sometimes like you got to see something close to you to be influenced, especially right, as a child right, right, or right. when you're young. So until I saw the Texas movement, that's when I was like, you know what? Like I'm gonna start rapping. Like it's real. This you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, because I, I, I done been playing like Lil Flip. Lil Flip was a big. I remember uh, the biggest influential thing that probably happened is uh, I don't know if y'all ever know about Redbird Mile. That was, yes, sir. Yeah, so yes, Redbird Mile used to be popping back in the day. Back and, like, in the day, I, boy. I, man, I was young. I was like in the sixth grade, and I went up there, and one day it was this dude that was rapping on, and like it's like a full court area, but they got a stage. And it's in the middle of the mall, and it was, he was just rapping. I didn't know who he was. There wasn't nobody out there. So he had a beat on. He was freestyling. And, like, everybody in the mall was just walking around going to, the, you know, it was, it was before school started. Yeah. So they were doing back to school shopping. The people were just walking. Nobody was paying them attention. So I remember being with my mama, and, like, it was, like, 30 minutes later, we could come out of the store, and he's still freestyling on the same beat. And I was like, who is this dude? And that's a big thing, like, somebody freestyling. So by the time we got out again, maybe, like, 10 minutes after that, the whole mall was just right there in front of him. He was, uh, and it was Lil Flip. You really? Know, being Lil Flip. But in I, Redbird Mall. In Redbird Mall, like, everybody out there. And then he was, like, uh, he was like 18 or 19 at the time. He was like, my name Lil Flip. And then from that day, I followed him, and then he started. Started blowing up, so every time I seen him, like it was a big thing to me, and that and that influenced me because I was like, damn, I seen that. You found it, you found it. Yeah, Yeah. like I seen (laughs) him before anybody knew he was rapping. So when he was saying he was a freestyle king, I was like, nah, he the freestyle king, bro. He was in the mall freestyling for 45 minutes. Nobody's watching. By the end, everybody in the mall was just sitting out there, and everybody was taking pictures. And that happened. That and that from that day, he just blew up. And that, that was probably the biggest influential moment that I ever seen. You ever been starstruck, either mu- in, in music or out of music? Uh, out of music. So, Allen Iverson. Mm. Allen Iverson was like, that was big for me. You know, Because you're a basketball best, guy. Yeah, played you played, right? Player, so, yeah. Have y'all ever played no. on the same court? Yeah, no. we need the hoop, man. Let's nah, do it. We yeah, need yeah. to make that happen. Yeah, for real. One-on-one. But, like, like. You too old, your knees good, Jesse? Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm always down for competition. Okay. Yeah, we, we're going to have to do that. Y'all ain't got no gold here? It ain't no gold nowhere around here? I don't think so. Right, y'all supposed to have a court, yeah, man. I bet we can get one out on the plaza. Yeah. I bet yeah, yeah. We, we should, should do, do that. that. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm, nah, we should do that for real. Right. Right. Court on the plaza. Right. And we, we can get there is hard. a lot of concrete just hard. outside these windows. Yeah, we can get Academy to bring us a temporary goal out here and we can... You, oh. you down to watch that? I'm going to watch it. Ah, we down might down live stream that. Yeah. That's fine. Anthony, you and we may get that. So, Anthony, you come. <laughs> yeah. But, I, yeah, I met Allen Iverson, man. And, uh, I, I mean, he was always – man, I, I used to have braids. Junior high, I had braids yeah. because of Iverson. I had the sleeve, all that. So, yeah, I was right. like – 
that type of Iverson fan. And then I met him uh, when my when I first started rapping. I ended up doing a – actually, Deion Sanders booked me to do a dunk contest judge at his school when he had the, sc- the school, I think. Yeah, Uzu. yeah. Yeah, we came and he had – and I didn't even know. Like, it was just a surprise. He had me judging Trina and Allen Iverson. And, like, I walked in and sat down. And Allen Iverson right there, I was like, ah, this is crazy. Like, he was sitting next to me and I was just trying to think, like, I'm for the approach him. And then we ended up chopping it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We – we talked. That was just a big moment. That was the only time I, I think I will say starstruck. I never really been starstruck by rappers. You yeah. know, even though you know I've been influenced by them, but I wow, never, wow. I never been. It's always been athletes for me because I guess that was the first thing that I was introduced to. Well, the chat. music guys, whether it's rap, country, rock and roll, they all want to be actors and athletes, and athletes all want to be. Rap musicians music. and yeah, actors. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's I guess that's why. But yeah, it, it was never a, a mu- musician. It was always yeah. athletes. De- it was the same thing for Dion too. When I first met Dion, mm-hmm. when I was younger. Uh, but yeah, Allen Iverson. And your guy was big. Muhammad Ali was yes, the, your big guy, right? And Jesse, right, you just crazy. nobody, right? Mike. Michael, Michael Jordan. Sometimes oh, that's I dream. Right. That's right. That's right. I forgot that, that he thing. is me. You weren't star struck by Tom Brady or Bill Belichick? No. No, no. <laughs> like I don't really get Julian sh- Edelman. I, oh, I hate Julian. <laughs> like I think, like how about this Mike and your mom? Man? Oh, 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 but you did. You did. But you did. But well, see, but well, Jesse, 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 Jesse was late, did. so I was gonna extend the show an extra twenty minutes so he can get his time in. But okay, I guess we'll go to the phone. I got Jesse the voice of reason. I love when people go. This is my favorite thing that people do, and we all do it. When people go. Excuse me. Oh, no, no. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you oh, did oh, mean to oh, interrupt. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt. You did mean no, to you interrupt. Didn't, you but didn't the reason like I said that because that was the right thing to do at the time. No, you know, no I, you're perfectly fine. You're right in your what you just did because yeah. we have a call and we need to get to that call. I'll do that in meetings, too. I'll be like, somebody will say, hey, I didn't mean to cut like you off. Nick. Well, you actually did mean to cut them off. Just say, I'm sorry for cutting right. you off. Yeah. But I'm I got something to say. That's so good. That's so good. Like you do Nick all the time. All the time. All the time. Just hide and stop. Like you do. On, on, when you play Jerome Brown, just stop. I don't want to. I don't want to talk. All right, Michael in D Land, Florida. What's up? You still there? That's why you wanted Michael. This is your people. This is your people from D Land. I want to get Mike out of the way because he's gonna hate on my man D Long. So I want to hurry get D Land out the way. I am not gonna hate on D Law today. What you who you hating on? You hating on Jesse for being late? Uh, no, but we gonna have to suspend him for the next show. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll, just let me go home after I after walk, you walk in the, the door. door get the ten dollars to get my ten dollars. I throw you back in on Monday, yeah, so I can get Jesse. I'm getting every seat. <laughs> <man. Yeah. laughs> What's up, Michael? Hey, hey. Uh, actually, uh, the only thing I was gonna say about D Law today was <laughs> telling uh, the same line from Remember the Titan: Attitude reflect leadership, Captain. But also, uh, as far as the offense, offense, I need to uh, ask you guys, do you think it's a good time, this game right here, coming up against them G-men that I hate, uh, do you think it's a good time for this team to start getting a short game on the passing game clicking so that when moving forward, there's no issues with it, like getting these guys involved, Tavon Austin, uh, Cobb, uh, even Tony Pollard, you know, all these guys and then he started getting more reps so that when we go up against the big boys, we can get him a lot of more different looks. You talking about like the, the underneath passes, the little short yeah. dink and dunk yeah. stuff? So they, they don't, yeah, they don't do it enough uh, to the part where they keep teams guessing. You know what I mean? Yep. Got you. Thank, yeah, I don't think that, Jesse agree with you. Thanks for the call, man. I don't think the voice of reason agree with you. Yeah, he's him. got a weird look on his face. He yeah. either farted or he's not agreeing <laughs> with what's coming out of your mouth. What's up, What's Jesse? that look, Jesse? You don't, you don't have to establish the short passing game. Continue to be explosive, and the short passing game will be there all day, every day. Mm-hmm. If you're knocking them over the head for 20, 25, 30, 40-plus yard plays – they going to get the hell up out of there. Linebackers will begin to drop. Stacey's will get out of there. DBs will get out of there. And then you'll have your pick of the litter to go underneath. But you need to continue to establish your deep threat game. This, this Cowboys team and this quarterback has always been known for throwing the ball short under Dak Prescott. Mm-hmm. You need to go back to attack mode, attacking them down the field, making them feel your presence over the top. And then the short stuff will be – I mean, it'll be there for the pickings. Nate has his hand raised. I just want to ask my man this right here. Who's your man? Right here. Who's what's his name? Six three. Brand. Okay. <laughs> Six three. Brand. 
Brother, <laughs> do you think this Cowboys team Here you go. can go far without a defense? Oh, nah, definitely not. Like, I mean, I I, I, no, I mean, you mean no, without the defense I, I improving? Love, I yeah. mean, without the defense, the defense improving. improving. That's right. Yeah, I yeah. love how he loaded this question up <laughs> and served it to you. Like, he literally, served, yeah. like, he literally, he cooked, he chefed this question <laughs> up <laughs> and gave it to you so that you would have to answer in his face. You see what he does. Oh, you my You see what he does. He sits on stuff for about God two or three days me. and then he just waits. He chefed that thing up. And he and, got, you know what he does? He'll, he'll throw something out on the show. And then it'll get in his own head, and he'll be like, "Was I right or wrong?" And then he'll go ask five or six other people, and then when they we they reaffirm what he thought, then he'll he'll bring it back two or three days later and serve it, reheat it, and oh, microwave it, and then you put it back on the table. My brother, <laughs> no, yeah. he answered. He he, he, he yeah. answered the way you wanted him to answer. You, that you should be a lawyer. The way you, if, he, if he was on the stand, the way you served that question to yeah, him, it, you got it, the answer. He, the, your nah. answer wasn't wrong. It yeah. was just the exact answer that he wanted you to say. Yeah. So that's why he folded the question in the way he did. But, but go ahead. But, nah, I mean, definitely the defense. I mean, our defense definitely had to prove. Like, that's we definitely right. can't get there without the defense improving. And, I mean, I honestly, I always, I always have felt the way about our secondary. Like, I always, like, as far as just – I'm, to be honest with you, I just I always wish we had a shutdown cornerback. Always, because I feel like at the end of the day, that's that's gonna always be a weak point. Like at any point, we always get picked apart downfield by any team. You know, it was happening with the Jets. You know what I'm saying? Wow. So I don't know. I always felt that, but yeah, our defense, our defense. You can't win any type of big game, or you can't be a playoff like team without a, without a defense. Let me ask you this day. question. If our offense was, loaded, yeah, I'll, yeah, badger the witness. Objection. If, if, Objection. If, if 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 Dak is throwing for three hundred yards, three touchdowns, Zeke running the ball hard, Omari's healthy, running it, Mike. Got, That's not the boss of reason. Do you think this offense can carry this team to a Super Bowl without the defense improving? So our offense can carry us to the playoffs. Right. We cannot get to the Super Bowl without okay. the defense improving. Oh, okay. Because 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 the, the, the level of the Look at is gonna Look step at up. Him. The level of play of every team is going to step up in the playoffs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look. So the offense is going to be more aggressive, you know what I'm saying, in the playoffs. Every team. You're that, making him real happy oh, right now. Look at him. Look at him. Our, brother, to add on what you're saying, now we we concentrating on the star. And now we're going to get this off of Jamal Adams' thigh. And place it to the side of his head. <laughs> in the playoffs, we will be bound. Yeah. Yeah, because it. Think about it. We always the games we've been losing, we've been playing because we've been playing coming back from behind. You know what I'm saying? So like we need that defense to come set the tone. Especially when you get to the playoffs to shut down an offense. Every team gonna be better. They're gonna be better in the playoffs. The offense is gonna be more aggressive. It's a, it's gonna be a new season in the playoffs. First game of the playoffs, that's a whole nother season. Every team gonna be better. So yeah, to get to that Super Bowl. We can get to the playoffs though with our offense. Yeah. You and you and Nate are in cahoots. No, no, I'm just <laughs> he's saying. giving you he's nah, giving you know I'm not how much, not, how much, be on me. How, so, much you know. <laughs> how much of that ten dollars he makes a I show know. are you getting? Hey, Nate be hating on me, so I ain't getting no money from him. He be he be calling me out when I ain't here. So But he nah, does. I agree with him this he time. Does. He oh does. my god. Every every day you are I'm not here. I better change my routine, everybody got me. <laughs> 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 Everybody got me. All right, before we get out of here, Mom, we, yeah. I am so sorry we kept you holding, but we had some really important stuff going on. We had to set Jesse straight, the voice of reason. That's okay. You forgot me the last time. So. Oh, Lord. Ooh, last week he did. And then the time yeah. before he that. He did. He was yeah. supposed to call me, text mm-hmm. me, and said, I'm going to call you on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And then he, after the show, says, oh, shit, I forgot you. You just I cussed on the air. Oh, you God. just cussed on the air. Oh, jeez. And then we're not gonna forget what he did two weeks ago. Too. Hey, so uh, we're so, not gonna bring that back up. So right Monday, now. Jesse suspended, mom suspended. <laughs> yeah, wow, <laughs> wow. It's okay. It's the internet. It's, there's no FCC regulation. Okay, so, you're not so yet. at least I'm winning 21 and lost 15. So I, I, you know, I've got more jelly beans in my jar. You do. I'm just you do. saying. You had a good week two weeks. We didn't talk to you last week. You had a good week two weeks ago. Right. I won three and two, so and then the week before that, four and one, so it put me up. So yeah. I'm good. I'm All right. good. And this is for entertainment purposes only. We do not condone gambling in any form or fashion. So LSU's on okay. a bye, so you're going to pick an extra NFL Ten. game this week, right? Right. All right. 
And DeRoe, if I was famous and had lots of money, I'd hire you for Shannon's birthday, too. But I'm not, so. Uh, uh, if good. he was a real friend, he'd do it for free. Uh, yeah, yeah. But he's going out of town. Shannon, you know what? Shannon, Shannon be showing me uh, love when he's on the road, man. Every time they playing the song, he, he give me a, a, a IG clip or something. Everywhere. IG from Mexico, <laughs> exactly. from wherever so, we're at. New, yeah, so, yeah, New yeah. York, whatever. So, so, oh, so Shannon, Ray, Shannon earned his boy. performance. <laughs> yeah, I raised such a good boy. You did. You, did. you tried. I don't know I how did. it turned out, but you tried. You tried. Tried really you did hard. Your best. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick the Bears and the Eagles. Okay, the Eagles are giving up five. Okay, and as bad as I hate to do this, I think the Eagles are going to win this week. Where's I that bet game against at? them the last two at at um, Philadelphia. So Eagles minus five. Right. Okay. All right, I'm going with the Texans and the Jaguars, and it is at the Jaguars. Okay. And the Texans are giving up two, but I'm going with the Texans. Texans minus two. Yep, and um, then I've got the Redskins and the Bills. Mm. The Bills are giving up nine and a half, you know, and they they didn't look so great last time when I didn't when we weren't on the air. But I think they're going to come back and they're going to be hungry. So I'm going to take the Bills this time. Bills minus nine and a half. Right. Okay. Where's that at? The, that's at the Bills, Buffalo. Okay. All right. Okay, and the Vikings and the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. You're going with the Chiefs. You don't even have to say No, anything. I'm going Whoa, with the Vikings. What? I, the Chiefs are giving up two, but I just, even before Mahomes got hurt, uh-huh. I don't think the Chiefs were looking so great. Their last two games were almost a struggle. And so I'm, I'm going with the Vikings. Okay. I, I think they're the team. Yeah. All right. And then we got the Cowboys and the Giants. And, Nate, just so you know, I have never jumped off the Cowboys' wagon. I'm with you. Thank I'm, you. I'm always going to be that cowboy fan. Let me ask you a question before you. No, before, <laughs> never mind. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Does this if we've got to straighten to... up our defense. <laughs> yes, 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 ma'am. Definitely hey, have hey, to straighten our defense to get, I think, to even get to the playoffs. But that's just me. Okay. I think they got to get tough. And what do you think about Jamal Adams? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Miss Miss Patsy Klein, your friend, going gonna to come and. Do do a thing with Mr. Duro. Can she do? I know. It? I heard that earlier. That's yeah. hysterical. He he better learn a little old rock and roll, and a little country, <laughs> so that he can uh, rap with. I me. I tell you what. I might get prepared for it. Tell Patty. <laughs> tell Patty to give us a song, and Duro has to sing country with her, and then she has to play ice cream paint job acoustic. Okay. When y'all come in for Thanksgiving, right. and you have to bring a banana pudding. I heard all that. Okay. I heard every bit of it. Okay. So, are you down? And I'm bringing cinnamon rolls too, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. Okay. Uh, just so you know, I am taking the Cowboys. They're giving up seven, even though we're on the road. I think they're going to do it. We how much? Seven. I don't know how to gamble, but ain't that a lot of points? A touchdown. That's, that's a lot the, on the a road. Lot. That's, a lot. that's a lot on the road. It really is. But they're favoring the Cowboys that much. They think they're going to do it. So I, I think it's going to be. And Jero, I'm going to pull up that ice cream uh, paint job that the acoustic. Yeah, yeah. Let, you, let Miss Patsy Klein do that one with yeah, you. Yeah, you can go to YouTube and uh, type it in. You know, uh, just put your yeah, ice cream paint job acoustic. We got to yeah. get you, by the way, we got to get you to send Kyle uh, ice cream paint job with the words. I think he's only got the instrumental. Oh he, oh, he don't got it? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, I, I can send that. I got yeah. that in my email. Send that to me and I'll forward it to <laughs> yeah. Kyle. Yeah, well, get Kyle we'll be there. We get out there. We'll be there Thanksgiving. At, we're coming in Tuesday, so we'll be there Where Wednesday. Where are you staying? Tuesday? I'm staying with Shannon. Wait a minute. I'm Tuesday? All about that so Tuesday stuff. night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. When are you going home? <laughs> oh. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday or Monday? Sunday. We're going home Sunday. Okay. Okay. So still five nights. Yeah. Damn. And, Darrell, I'm staying with Shannon lot. because I'm all about that free stuff. You going to come? I feel you. You yes, going to come to Christmas with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we gonna, you know what? We're going to have a drink <laughs> off. What's that? Oh, hey, you're talking to one of the professionals here that trained Shannon. So oh, you tra- oh, so you, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, well, if you train Shannon, if you train Shannon, then you definitely a professional. Because <laughs> I'll be bragging I'll be on Shannon. <laughs> yeah, All sure. right, we're going to hang out Nate, at Christmas. Jesse, Jesse, you can come referee because you don't drink. And, Nate, you can sit and set somebody up because they're going to say what you want them to say <laughs> when it gets to the end. That's right. That's right. That's right. You're Mama always going to be say I'm hating on him. Jesse <laughs> said I'm the house guy. What did you say? 
<laughs> you my friend. House. You my friend. Okay. Uh, thank God. And, I and listen, one Nate. Back. I you're tell, always. I tell my Shannon to give me one of them shirts, man. He tell yeah. him to look out for me. I need one of them cowboys. You yeah. gotta let me. You gotta give me more than like eleven hours notice <laughs> that you're coming on the show so I can get you set up. I got you. All I, right. I ain't know about the shirts, but yeah, I got you. Right. Nate, did That's you hear me? Time. Yes, ma'am. Say that. Repeat you're just. always my voice of reason. Thank always. You. Thank Aww, you. That's so Aww. sweet. I think my <laughs> yeah. mom's got a crush on you, Nate. I'm loving on <laughs> no, her too. <laughs> You can come stay with me one of those nights, too, ma'am. Do you hear that? You can come stay with me. Please. You can come stay with me Sunday night. Please. Please go stay with me. You can come stay with me Sunday night. (laughs) (laughs) Give me some relief. have a great weekend. All right, Mom. Hey, hey, hey. We'll see you. Love you. you Talk to you later. What? He ain't right. Hey, you know, that's a lot for Even though his mom was coming about two weeks ago, I know the first thing he said to me over there at lunch, man, she's staying with me for too many nights, man. (laughs) I got to try to find somebody that. He tried to throw off on Miss Tate. He tried to say, I'm going to ask you if you want to stay with Miss Tate. I may have to go foot the bill for for a room somewhere a couple of those nights. That's a lot in my little apartment. All right, let's get to business. Cowboys, Giants, DeRoe. Cowboys. Cowboys. What's the score? This is this is a this we didn't is get a, your mom. This is a twenty eight oh, seven. This is twenty eight seven type week. You know twenty eight. Oh, yeah, this is twenty eight seven. Just go in there and put your foot on the neck yeah, and just yeah. Yeah, grind it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Nate, Cowboys. Forever, man. All right, what you but think? Whatever score? score you want, I don't care. <laughs> when we win. One hundred to one. Yeah. All right, Jesse, what you got? Uh, I got Voice Cowboys. As, I got Cowboys as well. Uh, mine's a little bit tighter than twenty eight seven and one hundred to one, of course. Uh, I'm going uh, 24-17. 24-17. So it's like that and why? It's like that and why? It's a division game. These games are always played tough. On the road? You're on the road. Like Even Vegas getting us better love than that. No, it's saying he's, he's seven, right on with Vegas. That's, that's seven, seven points. Seven points. Mm-hmm. Boy. See what he did? Boy. The Vegas people are smart. He's just riding those coattails and just adjusting seven the points. score. What, what that that have, black college what education, man, game. is seven points right there. Uh, I don't remember. You remember what they had on the Philly game? The spread? Vegas. Yeah. I don't remember. I can look it up, though. <laughs> Kyle, yeah. what you got? Yeah. Cowboys 27, Giants 24. 27, 24. Ah, Lee Kyle, you regress. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Cowboys. I'm going to go 31. Mm. 31 24. Well, he like, he, like he's using the restroom, huh? Uh huh. <laughs> I was like, now I love how he accused me of riding the Vegas Wave. Right, right. But right. he goes oh, it's smart. 31 it's smart. 24. Why do you think those buildings and hotels are so nice in Vegas? Because they know what they're talking about. You know what? I, can't I, I would. This, man. I would really. Let me ask y'all this before we go. If they go in there and they pull a Duro and they beat the brakes off these guys, are you buying in on this team? Are we reset? And we reset nah. back to where we were after the first three games. <laughs> that's not the, that, that's not gonna make us. But we gonna we we need to do that. But it's not us blowing the Jets out. I mean, or the Giants out. Ain't the oh yeah, we ready? You know, we for to go beat out. You need to see teams. a couple of more. We, Vikings we, are the, the big Vikings, test, right? The Vikings is the test. That's gonna Nate's be the test. Nate's with you. Yeah. Nate's with you that's on that the one. Test, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You then agree? we can talk. What do you think, Jess? I'm with these two guys. Zim is coming. Zim is going. You should beat these guys. You should handle right. business and then get get your mind right for the Vikings, and then we'll know where we're at. Yeah, right? Like an old folks say, wrap your mind around the summer because it's a job. All right. What's the reason? Everybody's you know, taking you know, the man, Cowboys this all week. All that says you don't show up, dog. Hey, man, I oh, show up when man. I can. If I'm here, say, Big dude, hey, don't, be, don't do me like that. Don't do me like that, six <laughs> Don't do me like that, six three. No show on Monday because yeah. we'll be playing a game, but we will be here Tuesday. I'm sorry, oh, we ain't got no show, You're going to miss out on your, on your 10 bucks. Oh, it's a Monday game. Sorry. Monday, Monday night yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. Jesse we, we can, call, can host this. Yeah. We'll call. We'll put it in text. Text right, your boss. Let's go up. To, we'll talk yeah, to Derek right after the show. All right, we'll fella, hey Jesse, yeah. Jesse, thank you for thank oh, you for can't. coming coming to the show yeah, today. Welcome. We we, we appreciate that, man. We appreciate your par- participation. You're DeRoe, welcome. thank you for coming to the show today. Anytime. Nate, DeRoe. thank you for bringing it as always. Do Ian King at the yeah. Pro Shop, thank you for these awesome shirts. Yes, sir. These are great shirts. Kyle, thank you for keeping us on the air. Thank you, Mama Gross. We love you, Mama Gross. Thank you, Caden. Stay away from the show. We're doing fine without you. Caden, what's up? We'll be back Tuesday. You say keep your dad away from the show. Oh, hey. Hey, oh, hey, the <laughs> this has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys?